I'm standing on top of the aqueduct that carries water from Shoal Lake all the way uh, to the city of Winnipeg uh, to the west of us. And uh, this uh, particular aqueduct was constructed uh, very early on in the history of the city of Winnipeg, uh, far uh, earlier than the uh, population as it was uh, back around 1913. Uh, this uh, aqueduct was built uh, to supply water for a city uh, of the population of about 850,000 people. So directly below my feet, the water is running. It's buried in this uh, oval-shaped uh, sort of uh, mound that is at surface. And really, it is an aqueduct. And this was one of the most ambitious aqueducts uh, to ever be constructed. The total length of it is 135 kilometers. Uh, there was over a, a million and a half uh, cubic meters of earth excavated. Uh, there was gravel used for the base of this aqueduct. It was roughly 217,000 cubic meters. Over 270,000 cubic uh, meters of concrete was produced from 600 thousand barrels of cement. So the source of the water specifically is Indian Bay on Shoal Lake and that is at an elevation of 92 meters uh, above the level of the city of Winnipeg. So this water is flowing by gravity towards Winnipeg which is uh, roughly 92 meters below uh, where I'm standing. Uh, it was constructed uh, from September 19, 1914 to March 29, 1919 at a cost of over 13 million, again to supply the projected population of 850,000. It is, according to Rod McRae, Winnipeg Commissioner of Works and Operations, one of the longest gravity-fed covered aqueducts in the world since the early Romans pioneered aqueduct construction more than 2,000 years ago.